take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. For tank and tankless hot water heaters, for clogged drains, for leaky faucets, for toilets that won't flush, stop freaking and call Beacon. Beacon Plumbing, Heating, and Mechanical is your trusted source to solve all your plumbing needs. 1-800-FREAKIN or beaconplumbing.net. Hey, this is BJ. Thanks for listening to our show's podcast. If you're a fan of all things geeky, you should check out my other podcast, BJ Shea's Geek Nation. We have new episodes every day, and you can check it out at bjgeeknation.com. Your home is going into foreclosure, and you feel like a financial wreck. You don't know where to turn for accurate information. I'm bankruptcy attorney Travis Gagné. Let's talk about some legal options. If we work quickly, we can propose a plan to save your home, modify the loan, or in many cases, even eliminate your second mortgage. The consultation is free. I've helped hundreds of people just like you make informed decisions about whether to save their home or exit it on a reasonable, organized timeline. The chapter you choose sets the tone for the next chapter of your life. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. Oh, these prankers, these TikTokers, you know. When are you going to start doing TikTok, BJ? Yeah, <laughs> start doing some pranks on the TikToker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't. Uh... Or some crazy dances. Yeah, go do all the trends. Yeah. Woo. Yeah, I uh, I think you, um, I think I'll let you kids do it. You go ahead. You have fun. Yeah, I can hear it in your voice that you're <laughs> never going to do it. Yeah, you, you have fun. You go ahead and do it. I've you have it. fun with the TikToks. Yeah, you go ahead and TikTok your way to, to, to delight. I really um, don't do anything on TikTok other than scroll and, and, and just pay attention to the bikini burries, the TikTok pages. <laughs> oh, so that's the uh, TikTok you're on. It's yes. The bad one. Yeah. It's the best one. Yeah, I, well, get, uh, I get bursts of creativity <laughs> where I'm like, I'm going to do something and then like, or especially when Lily's around like you, it's like one post of me and Joe me and knowing Joe and then it's like 15 posts of my daughter dancing and yeah. that's all my TikTok is Aww. yeah there you go I remember oh, there you go. I See, post something on t- I was like oh, I'm gonna post something and I just like yeah, I'll just watch these bikini braces reenact movie scenes it's a great idea oh, really more fun. Mm-hmm. show me those ones well, uh, listen, judge, judging from Vicky's response, Steve, all you got to do is just put uh, y- y- your daughter on there. I mean, it'd be, uh, you know, she'll be entertained because, I mean, you know, Danny put his daughter on there. Dickie was like, uh, Vicky was like, oh, yeah, uh, let's 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 cl- uh, reclarify here. I did not. Well, I did put a couple, but for the most part, she steals my phone when I'm taking a shower and then I come out and there's like 15 videos of her dancing to different things. Well, at least she's Fact. not taking video of you while you're taking a shower and then yeah, putting it up she, on TikTok. True, how, how, do, how does she have access to your phone that, when? when you're not there you don't have it like you don't care wow with all your banking stuff and all the things on there at some point she knows when not to touch oh does she yeah Yeah, but most of those banking pages i feel like you have to still use some kind of like facial recognition uh uh, you know well how do we know that danny doesn't have her face in there too he says he doesn't care how does she open the phone i mean i don't you know what i mean danny's just like ah go ahead take this yeah all right I'm you know, you, Amazon's sending you a lot of stuff. Hey, good, good just, I, I'm the same way. Once my kid grabs my phone, I'm just like, oh, whatever's going to happen, happens. I yeah. just hope you don't like change some setting, which that has happened from time to time. Where I'm like, <laughs> yeah. why can't I put my phone in horizontal mode? And it's like, oh, Tatum. Yeah. But yesterday she took my phone and took this great picture. Of me. <laughs> oh, lovely. This is a close-up of wow. her tongue. Okay, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a big <laughs> You guys are better man than me because I would I would not let my kid have my or phone. the Julie oh, chin. Oh, there's your chin. There we go. <laughs> yeah, like, wait a second, where did these yeah. come from? <laughs> that's fantastic. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, that's a good picture. Yeah, she's good at the selfies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? Fantastic. But you know what? Uh, I got to tell you, she's got to start doing pranks. That's what you know. That's when your kid's going to elevate herself on TikTok. Uh, there's a, I don't know if you heard about this prank that went wrong. Uh, it was a TikToker, surprising, dressed as a mannequin at a Target store. I've seen this trend where like someone will put on like like a full like you know like like those like um, Halloween costumes where it's like that one piece like tight skin uh, colored whatever body and, suit. yeah body suit and so it covers your face as well. And I've seen some people they get like the white one and then they put like what looks like some kind of random like Target uh, clothing uh, display uh, on and then they just sit there. And, Seems uh, like a really time suck of a prank, but right. Right. well, then again, <laughs> uh, did you just use the word? Did you use the word phrase "time suck"? And yes. also with TikTok, I hard I, I can't believe that. <laughs> right. I can't believe that the two should be in the same sentence. It's uh, like one of those phrases where I'm like, "Harmless," but man, what a waste of time! <laughs> yeah, 
I know. I uh, th- th- So what this dude is supposed to do is pop up and scare people walking by, which I'm sure this is not Target approved either. Uh, <laughs> but, when a, <laughs> but when a young girl went to sit on him, he had to break character pretty oh. quickly, and he ended up freaking out the entire family. You can check out the video on the BJ Miggs page of KISW.com. I want to see Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, Hate it. Oh, that's rude. Oh. We film it. We film the videos. I'm for that. What? We ain't do nothing wrong. You can't just sit on mannequins like that. <laughs> she, did you sit on it? Nah, she didn't sit on me. Uh, I get it. We we didn't do nothing wrong except you're posing to be a mannequin to to scare people and yeah okay. Well, you know, like a Target, like the mannequins are just randomly propped throughout the store. Like they're sitting, they're standing, like they're just kind of there. Yeah. I mean, at least. Uh, yeah, like, that is the last thing you want is a, a child that you don't know sitting on your lap at a target. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I wish she would have relieved herself on him. That would have been fantastic. <laughs> He's just lucky the dad didn't pop him in the face. That's another thing. If it was your father, the guy'd probably be floored. I'd probably super kick him. He's in a good spot. Oh, for there it. you go. Oh, yeah, you too. Oh, so if that was if that was Tatum and that happened, uh, you, uh, he'd get a super kick. Yes. Oh, wow. All right. I want to see now. That's the TikTok video I want to see. Like, I don't know what's going on here, but bam, super kick party. And if you watch the guy, he walks away dejected. He's like, oh, I don't do another wrong. It's like, yeah, you kind of did. You're kind of an idiot. Just, you know, let's just, let's just be done with it, okay? Don't scare children. Like, yeah, keep I mean, it that's to the, the thing. Keep it to the old ladies. But in all know. fairness, I'm not, I'm not, I can't believe I'm defending Oh, here we this. go. Are you defending I'm not, I'm TikTok, not, no. TikTok Tommy? But in all fairness, I don't think he was expecting a child was going to try and sit on his true, lap. True. You're dressed like a mannequin moron. I think anything is possible when that happens. I, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Hindsight's a bitch. Especially but. with children. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm, you know, not nervous for, I'm not nervous for the kids. I'm nervous by, like, of the old lady he tries to scare and gives a heart attack. I know. I mean, just, I, I'd be so scared of that happening. Well, I hope he picks and chooses who he's going to scare. He should, right? Like, if I see some old woman, I'm going to let that woman just keep walking. Like, I'm not going to try and scare that person. I mean, I felt like he showed, like, good decision-making skills. That kid's about to sit on him. He wasn't like, oh, I'll just keep playing this prank and let the kid sit on my lap. That would have been weird. Yeah. yeah. But I thought the kid didn't the kid just fall on her butt. Uh, at least that's what it looked like to me. Well, yeah, because he started moving and that freaked the kid out. Yeah, exactly. Again, hindsight. I, I, yeah, it's he's like, I, don't, I don't want the kid to sit on me, but I'll let the kid just take a take a butt shot to the floor. Well, I mean, they, okay. They do that without any, right. like, prompting. Oh, you guys are very story. understanding of other people's kids getting scared and treated like crap. If that was your two children, I don't think you would have had that response. No, no, fair enough. Like I said, I would kick the guy in the face. But, <laughs> <laughs> well, Danny, Danny's like, well, hold on a second. Uh, you know, when it comes to dressing like a mannequin, act like a moron. Well, I act like a moron all the time too. So yeah, I, you know, I, yeah. I uh, again, I don't. I'm not justifying what this guy did, but I, I, he did it, and then he realized rather quickly this was a terrible idea, and I got to give him credit for that at least. Yeah. it wasn't like he was like he didn't like lean into the prank while a child sitting on his lap. Yeah, and then he walked away dejectedly, like, "Wow, I'm kind of an idiot," and you know, and then of course. And this we have to deal with if you're a Target employee. It's like, really? I got this. This Dude, Target idiot? brings out the morons, man. Like yeah. young morons. Like I, every time I go to Target, there's like a teenager and their posse doing something stupid. Mm-hmm. Like they grab a skateboard off the rack and they're skateboarding around the Target. And you're like, yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess I'm just at that point where it's like that. I'm sure like we were all the dumb teenagers at one point. But yes, oh, you would have you would have started break dancing back in your days. You two, know, in the middle of, in the middle of a Target. Two days ago, I saw these two stupid teenagers just <laughs> chasing each other with the weighted blankets on. <laughs> oh, and I'm like, what is going on? Like. I'd, I'd start playing the Rocky music for that one. It's like, That's come on, that looks like a, like it would be a workout or something. And then their friends are all watching and laughing. And I just looked at my wife. I'm like, man, is this what we have to look forward to? Yeah, I don't know if I'm ready for this. I, I make fun of it, but I used to do the dumbest things at I the Target because there was nothing else to do in my hometown at the time. Like I, we would hide in the little pillow displays. You know how they have like the big tower right. pillows. We'd hide in there. I don't know why. We just would because we wanted to see if we could. So it's like part. I'm at that age where I'm like, I understand why you're doing it, but I'm also kind of annoyed. Mm-hmm. I mean, it just brings out the morons target. Yeah. I mean, it really is that then just these older guys are slamming the hollow poles to freak out their daughters. I, mean, I don't care yeah, about that, <laughs> BJ. That's a great <laughs> prank. A dumb prank. See, now that to me is a great prank. That should be on TikTok. No. I don't know that. That's the you know what? That's the one you put me on TikTok doing. It's one of my classics. You should do that. No child's getting hurt. No, nope. except my own. And really, you know what? They, I get to do what I want with my own kid. If yeah, I want to psychologically him into this traumatize world. him, yeah, yeah, you want exactly. to traumatize him? Go ahead. She's I'm also thirty, so I mean, at this point, yeah, it's I not feel like, like 
you know, I feel like, hey, listen, it's it's a classic now. I think she'd be disappointed if we went to the Target. We didn't do that. Yeah, she's thirty, but when sometimes she shares her stories, don't you think that poor child? That's true. <laughs> oh, that poor child. Maybe I should dress as a mannequin. That's what I should do. You should. Yeah, that's what I'll. Yeah, I'll be. I'll be the overweight mannequin. I don't. Th- I'll look like the Michelin mannequin. See, I couldn't do it because if I sat there for a long period of time and I wanted to prop up, it takes a second to warm my body up. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like this is not working the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we've learned a lesson here. I think the world of TikTok, the world of mannequin uh, impression. I think we're just, you know, it's maybe uh, past our prime. And that uh, teens are going to be stupid at Target. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah well, I mean, right, let's just say teens are going to be stupid. That being said, have you seen those weighted blankets at Target? They're very weighted. Uh, they I thought, well, yeah. Yeah. I thought, didn't you get one? Me? I have one. Oh, Vicky's got one. I knew somebody had <laughs> oh, one. Oh, they're great. Yeah. Have you seen those weighted blankets? They're yeah, I know. Weighted. Does that, yes. does that sound like a young person statement? No. Look at how heavy these blankets hey, are. What's going on? Right we now. walked by and I, I accidentally knocked one down and I went to pick it up. I'm oh, like, geez. I was like, wow, this is like, even though I knew it was a weighted blanket, it was very shocking how weighted okay. it was. It's heavier than it looks. <laughs> Especially when it's rolled it's up. It's a weighted blanket. It should be heavier than yeah. it looks. That's the whole. Okay. Thanks, guys. Did you say it was just teens that are idiots at Target? I just want to be clear about no, that. No, I mentioned that old guy that slams poles as well. Oh, yeah. Well, he's, yeah. <laughs> Pole slamming. Yeah, yeah. We got a teacher that was fired for reading a children's book to his students. Fired for this. And Steve will tell you all about it. He's got the mix report for you at 617 on The Rock. BJ and Mix mornings on The Rock. 99.9 KISW. Everything is better electrified. Like the guitar, toothbrushes, or cars. And Hyundai has the widest range of electrified vehicles on the market, including the first ever Tucson and Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. You can use electric when you want it or gas when you need it. It's your journey. Evolve it beyond the pump in the 2022 Tucson or Santa Fe plug-in hybrid EVs. Visit your nearest Hyundai dealer or learn more at HyundaiUSA.com. Call 562-314-4603 for complete details. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev. When the hot water needs to be hot, when the drain needs to drain, when the toilet needs to flush, you need to do two things. Stop freaking and call Beacon. Beacon Plumbing Heating and Mechanical. On call in there when you need them most. 1-800-FREAKIN or beaconplumbing.net. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle, presenting the roast to Steve Miggs live on stage. Let's go. Everyone's going to be there from KISW. Great chance for all of us to get together again for the first time in a long time. It's going to be a great time. Not only us, but also Craig Gass is going to be there. Uh, Seahawks Hall of Famer Walter Jones is going to be joining us. A few other special guests are being all locked in. One uh, TV personality might be joining us. Oh, really? To KSW, which would be pretty oh, sweet. Oh, a TV personality. We'll Look at us that. getting fancy. Yep. Oh. And also, we uh, we have live music from Glenn Cannon and The Damage Done, so you're going to be entertained that way, too. It's going to be a lot of fun. Tickets are selling quick, BJ. And some people are wondering, well, can I watch it at home if I can't go? No. This is the only chance. This is the only way you'll be able to see it is by showing up and being a part of the night. That's it, man. It's one of those roast type of things. You know, we don't want that stuff out there for public consumption. It's just oh, for the yeah. people in the oh, room. Oh, oh, you know, oh, you don't want people to see you get destroyed is what you're saying. Unless oh, I have no problem with that. Uh, I'm oh, more worried about drunk Miles saying oh, something to me. <laughs> well, there is. Uh, shouldn't say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nobody wants to get canceled. I, I, uh, <laughs> I, I can say that. Or, or Craig Gass. Yeah, sometimes Craig. You know, you give him a live microphone, you just don't know yeah. what's going to be said. That's a good point. Well, it's all happening. I mean, you've got to be there for this. Uh, Friday, April 15th, that's Snoqualmie Casino Ballroom. And uh, ticket proceeds go towards Smash Seattle. That's a cool thing. And uh, tickets are on sale as I'm speaking. Go to KISW.com. Well informed on the issues of the day? Not this guy. Live from the KISW News Center in downtown Seattle, this is the Migs Report. Well, thanks, you guys. And today, I, I, I'd be worried to Urban Dictionary today's special day. because Oh, I don't really? Know, I don't know. Happy National Oatmeal Nut Waffles Day. Oatmeal nut, yeah, it's, a, it's very close to the blue waffle. I don't, don't ever yet. say that word, please. Uh, well, you said oatmeal nut waffle. I'm, who yeah, knows but, what that means? But do not Google blue waffles. Don't do it. Please, people. Don't like, do and, it. And, and every time we say that, somebody does Google it. And they're like, 
Dude, that's so gross. Why did you tell me not to Google that? Well, we told you because not to Google that. We told that's, you not to. Yeah. You can't help it if you have no impulse control. BJ, I know it's going to be a tough one to bring up just because of your relationship with your cousin, but hey, uh, happy National Promposal Day. <laughs> oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> and most importantly, maybe listen to some sweet sounds of 311. As today is March 11th, it's National 311 Day. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Amber is a something something energy. <laughs> oh, uh, what a what a wonderful you celebration! Got all the lyrics. Day. I don't. There. I'm the worst with lyrics, Rev. I know. Oh, there's this come original. Yeah, come original. There you go. Da, that's da, a good da, one. Da, a come original. <laughs> go three. Congratulations. <laughs> Listen to three eleven today. All right, this is the perfect day for it. Yes. And maybe read the book. I need a new butt, but don't read it if you have students, because I'll get you fired. Wait, 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 what? I need so, a new butt? Yeah, so there's a teacher in Mississippi. Actually, he's an assistant principal. His name's Toby, and he was just fired from an elementary school because he read a book to a bunch of second graders through a Zoom class. So they weren't okay. in person. And the book that he grabbed was a book called I Need a New Butt, yeah. which I don't know if you've ever seen. Well, PJ, you, you're, you're kind of far removed from the children world. Maybe one day you'll... But they sell this actually at Target. I've... There's been I have so many times on my phone that I think I've taken a picture of this and I keep meaning to send it to our group chat to be like, Rev, I found your book. And it's just like <laughs> a book where there's a kid and he needs a new butt. I have okay, two copies so, of that book. Do you really? Yeah, yeah. Lily loves that book. It's like a funny story. Of okay, a I'm, I'm worried here because so far this book, it's at Target. Danny says Lily loves it and a guy got fired for reading it. I don't understand. So he's like, I was, he was surprised because he said it's just a funny, silly book to read to children. Uh, the book is meant for kids aged 6 to 10 years old. And if you're wor- wondering what the book's about, BJ, well, I'll give you a short synopsis. I won't spoil it all for you, but uh, <laughs> a boy notices he has a problem. And the problem is he has a huge butt crack. So he sets off to find a new one. And that's like when he's going to figure out, do I want an armor-plated butt, a rocket butt? And then throughout the, the book, he is on a search for a new butt. I want a rocket okay. butt. Okay. And he re- and, and you say this age is 6 to 11. Yep. And he read it to second grade students. Second grade students, which, which was that, six years old? Six and seven. Six, six seven and years seven. old. Yeah, that yeah, falls yeah. in the demographic. Well, they said that it was a, by him reading that book, it showed a lack of professionalism and impaired judgment and unnecessary embarrassment. Where's he's this? Not, this is over in uh, Mississippi. Oh, yeah. He's not sure if any parents complained or if they just caught wind of it. Well, oh, I got you. <laughs> hey. Hey. He did say he was blown away by the harsh reaction from the district. Nice. Yeah. Boy, that, uh, that, that really stinks. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like maybe they did him a favor. Go find another school that's a little bit less stupid to work at. Well, and, and look, do I want to cast aspersions on Mississippi? Is it is it a cultural, regional thing that... I mean, it's or a Target. It, I mean, it's the book's at Target. Or is it they just, well, there's some, there's romance novels at Target. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's not going to read a romance uh, novel. All right, well, course, let, 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 all right. I mean, I feel like he read an age-appropriate yes. Target book. Maybe you it's know. because of the title of the book. I need a new butt. And they just got, like, all weirded out by it. Oh, butt hurt, my. as some would say. Yeah. Well, <laughs> 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 yeah. that, that, that's, that, that, that really, uh, I, sometimes this country, I just think, how are we all living in the same country when you have, when you hear a story like that? Right, I mean, could, could you imagine you're firing me because of this? And I guess yeah. you embarrassed us. This was bad decision, <laughs> poor judgment. Yeah, okay. All right, we move on to Tampa, uh, where nobody was getting fired because of a book, but a guy got hit by a car. And, and what happened, at, he's fine, so don't worry. Like, the guy's... Okay, so we can laugh. Yeah, well, yeah, because of how he reacted after he got hit. So he got hit, he went to the convenience store to go buy some beer, he left with some beer, and then he steps out through the door and gets hit by a car. I guess a 21-year-old woman was backing out of a parking spot in her Jeep, and then she accidentally hit the gas instead of the brakes and nailed the dude. Oh. He got thrown about 10 feet. There's security footage of it. It looked like it knocked him out cold. He got taken to the hospital. They're checking up on him. He's like, okay, he got some cuts, but he's going to be fine. The best part about all this is as they're treating him at the scene, he's like, hey, how's my beer? Is my beer okay? <laughs> Boy, this guy really wants his beer. And they even said he was in unusually good spirits. Maybe he had a couple of those beers before he went to get more beer. I'm betting. He was walking, so what's wrong with that? Hopefully, it's Well, I, see, I don't think you can have beers on the way home like that. I'm, I'm pretty sure you know. Oh, I'm not saying on the way, but he might have had some beers at home and said, I need more beer. Ah. Went to the store. Got yeah. some beer and got that great book, I Need a New Butt. And next thing yeah. you know, he got hit I by mean, a that's his, that's his Friday night right there. Sounds like a great Friday night. Might have yeah. hit by a car part. Yeah. I want a new butt. <laughs> was that a Dr. Demento song? No. Well, I don't know about was that. that I was Weird Al? I was singing more of, uh, like, Huey Lewis, I Want a New Drug. No, I, I know. know. I know. But I don't I know if anybody did want a new butt. They should have. I feel like somebody might have. Hmm. 
I don't know. Maybe we'll find out. Dr. Nope. Demento. There's a name from the, pla- the past. Well, because he did, I think, a parody of I Want a New Drug, but I can't remember what he did it as. Oh, yeah. You got me on that one. Yeah. Uh, Danny and Vicky probably have no idea who that was, Dr. Demento. No, I they want have no clue. A, oh, Weird Al did I Want a New Duck. I Want a New Duck. That's yeah. it. When you said Dr. Demento, I'm like, is that an X-Men villain? Dr. Demento. Yeah. <laughs> He, he was, was kind of like a, it. He was a radio guy, and he would do all these really like Weird Al esque uh, yeah. parody songs. And Weird Al used to send stuff to him. Oh, That's okay. how Weird Al started. Yeah, yeah. He had a he had a radio show where he played weird songs. Oh. Doctor Demento. I attribute most of my weird sense of humor to Doctor Demento. He is eighty years old. He's still going though. Wow, wow. He's still, he's still eighty alive. years old, Steve. Are we old now? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh. Well, duh. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know he was well, alive well and, and 80. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's talk about something that's truly heartbreaking. Yeah. And that is your Seattle Kraken. What a... That yeah. game. Well, that I was, was a mess. It, dude, uh, you, you going into the third period, you're down 3 nothing to the Ottawa Senators. I'm like, this yeah. this game sucks. Why am I even watching this? But, of course, I'm going to keep it on because I'm a glutton for punishment. Me too. There's like 10 minutes left in the game. Next thing you know, McCann scores. You're like, oh, great. I'm glad we locked that guy in. Great goal, too. Yep. Then... 30, like 25, 30 seconds later, Ryan Donato scores. Now it's 3-2, to two and I'm getting kind of amped. Danny's texting me. I'm, like, starting to pay more attention to the game. Mm-hmm. I got Tatum, who's just running around the house yelling, go Kraken. I'm, I've never been more proud of my daughter. This is just a good moment. I'm, like, I'm feeling the energy. I'm like, but they're probably still going to lose. Then they score a goal again. Appleton score. Uh, and now it's, like, it's a 3-3 game, BJ. All of a sudden, it went from this game is not even going to happen. They suck to we're tied goes into overtime and I never am this type of a person I, I'm never one that's like oh I'm just glad we get a point but I even texted Danny I'm like win or lose I'm just happy we got to overtime yep. they did not deserve this point like True. that to me is a miracle in itself yep but I still felt kind of like maybe they could pull this off and then stupid Mark Giordano gets a penalty yeah Gio screwed it all up <laughs> sorry I love Mark but I feel like this has just been yeah. I'm looking forward to the trade deadline I'm honestly like 10 more days yeah, let's dude just go 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 I mean it's just like I've never seen a player seem less interested in being a part of a team than mm-hmm. Mark Giordano and he's the captain of the team it just seems like he's just been coasting all season yeah. <laughs> and waiting for that the trade deadline so he can be put on the contender go I don't we don't need you <laughs> wow hard <laughs> words right there man I feel the same though man just watching him get that penalty I was like what are you doing and it wasn't a terrible penalty like it was kind of like I was like oh maybe that guy a little Hollywooded it up the, the player on the Senators but it was a stupid chance to take because there was a very good chance you're going to get a penalty with what he did so, and he did, and then they scored, and we lost in overtime. Mm-hmm. Oh. Very but of course, uh, you were all very upset at the theory. You knew it was going to happen. I was so excited that possibly the theory was going to be wrong. Your three-goal yeah. theory, or uh, whoever so scores the third goal in the game. Yeah. yeah I, I feel you. bad being so like angry at Mark Giordano, because, I mean, it's not like he's a bad dude, and obviously he's a, a good player. He's had some good goals for the Kraken, but I feel like on the whole... He just has been kind of a bust. And, and, and you make him the captain. And it's just like, ugh. I feel like there's better players out there. One being Ryan Donato. And that's the one that's been life's biggest mystery this season. It's like, why aren't we playing him more? Whenever he plays, he, he's a spark for the team. Yeah. I, I, you know, I think shake that, my I, fist at that one, BJ. Yeah. Maybe they're learning. You know, Steve, maybe they, you know, they're, it's all going to shake out. And you might see more and more of Donato uh, for the rest so. of the season. I Especially really like that with guy. the. Maybe after the trade deadline, some guys like him will get more playing time since, obviously, there'll be the trade deadline. I hope, man. Oh, well, tomorrow they play Montreal, so we'll see who's uh, the worst oh of the two. Oh, my God. If they can't beat Montreal, really? Yes. Really. Well, it's but a possibility. Then, but then again, do you want to beat Montreal? I mean, you really... I, I guess at this point, we're in the lottery. It doesn't matter, right? Oh, yeah. We're the second worst team in the league right now. Yeah, so at I this mean, point, we're tied matter. for second worst with uh, Arizona. So, yeah. Oh, geez. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're in the lottery. So at that point, it doesn't matter who has the worst record. So, yeah, let's beat Montreal. <laughs> yeah, it'll be nice. Tomorrow, that's at 4 p.m. You can watch that game. Hey, I know that you're excited about this, BJ. Woo! Baseball is coming back. <laughs> they reached an agreement yesterday that 99-day lockout is done. Hooray! Opening day, April 7th. Which is one, it's only one leak, one week, one leak, one week, <laughs> le- it's been one leak, uh, it's only one week later than what they were originally going to be Yeah, doing. they're still going to try to do 162 games though, and they're expanding the playoff season, so this is actually a little bit of a beating for the players, but okay, I'm still happy it's happening, but the players are going to take a beating this year, I think. Yeah, so like when you're, uh, uh, the National League is going to have a designated hitter Woo, with this finally. new agreement, and 12 teams make it into the postseason. 
Yeah, it looks like the one and done wild card is finally gone, which I'm so happy about. I always thought that was so dumb for baseball to have a one and done thing after 162 games. So, dude, I mean, the chances for the Mariners have gotten, they're even better now. Oh, More yeah. Teams going to the playoffs. A lot of people feel like Seattle is a team that not, because there's still a ton of free agents out there and they've got a big scramble. Well, they better get cracking to, on that. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Well, don't do that. Uh, not but get they, cracking. But they yeah. feel like the Mariners now, with this new playoff uh, expansion, uh, as well as also a three game playoff, that they're like, they may be a player. They may go, okay, this is worth us going out and getting some people because of this new system which uh, will allow six teams from each league uh, to be in it. And and the first, uh, the best teams are the two, the first two teams get a bye. Okay. Uh, of the first round of the playoffs. And it's like a three-game playoff the first round. So, uh, so you're saying this season Mariners are getting a bye? Dude, how crazy would that be if I they got a bye? I think you are, Steve. I know. That's <laughs> yeah. how I'm feeling. Oh, that, wouldn't that be great? Because like, they, not only did they make the playoffs, but they make it with like authority. Because I think some people would give them still a hard time if they like just squeak in. You're like, oh, it took expanding the number of teams going into the playoffs for the Mariners to finally make it. So I want to do it with that authority. Yeah, yeah there's going to be no more uh, one-game playoffs if you're tied for anything. Like, it'll just be determined by, uh, you know, strength of, like like they do in the NFL. They're going to just take a look at the record. Mm-hmm. What, uh, yeah, all of it. Uh, whatever, the, whatever they use, they're going to use records and gotcha. all these different things just like the NFL does. So that once the playoffs start, you, you know, where, however you finish in the season, that's it. You, you you hope that you beat other teams and whatever whatever parameters they use. So it makes all three hundred billion games that they play matter. It, uh, yeah, now it really does matter. Yeah, it really it, all, all one hundred and sixty million of them. Right? <laughs> also, I'm glad I've been fighting for this for years with baseball, and I'm so happy they're going to implement it. Uh, I guess part of the agreement is also they're going to make the bases larger. <laughs> What? I don't understand why that is a thing. Um, yeah, th- I, I think it's to it's to protect play. It's to really so that players will be able to slide without having to get there. I, 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 and, and be able to still touch the base. It's supposedly better for the the people running. No guarantee that's happening next season. Those are like future changes. I guess they agreed upon. Another one is a, a pitch clock. That way, the games will be a little bit yeah. quicker, which would be nice. Yeah, they, they've they been trying to figure out how to make these games shorter for the longest time because of the batters and pitchers and how long they take between pitches. Ah, man, I got, you got to be excited. Baseball's coming back. I'm very excited. I, I'm excited for the Mariners, and I'm really happy with the playoff system. I am so happy. I hated the wild, the one-game wild card forever. I hated it. As far as weather, 51 degrees. going to be cloudy today. Oh, if you're looking for some uh, wrestling to watch tonight, you maybe join me over at a Hales Palladium in, in that Fremont Ballard area. Oh, really? I'll be wrestling over at uh, SOS Pro Wrestling tonight. So come see me beat up actually a guy who has a baseball gimmick, and that's uh, the Big Hurt. <laughs> oh, look at you with the Big Hurt. Yeah. Oh, Frank oh, Thomas. Nice. Oh, he must be a... I, I forget the dude's name. Oh, my god. Frank gosh. Thomas. Frank Thomas. Thank you, yeah. sir. That's the guy he must love. Yeah. Yes. Carl Ray Jepsen, you're going down. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, you're calling him out. Yeah. Are you sure you're not going to get hurt big by, you know, land a big way? Well, if he falls on me, maybe, but that's not Wow. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. There are some words that are not very It's nice the battle of two undefeated guys for the number one contender, BJ. Ooh, look at oh. you. I feel like you've been defeated before. So how not here. Wonder? Not Every oh, promotion's different. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, okay. everyone has a different record. Yeah, man. Okay. We live in I, different galaxies, bro. I have it's no like idea. It's like Marvel. Yeah, is it like? Oh, it looks like Marvel. Yeah, oh, in, this, in this universe, I haven't lost. Ah, okay. I'm almost following. <laughs> in uh, another universe, like for instance, in Portland tomorrow, yeah. I've lost a lot. So oh, there you go. <laughs> let's, let's talk about the one where I'm undefeated. So is this a Concacaf wrestling match? I'm yes. not sure what this is. 100. percent Okay, perfect. And he's Club Leon. Yeah. And I'm going to be the Sounders. Yeah. There you go. Ah. All right. Because Sounders uh, won that one, right? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm yeah. definitely yeah. in the Sounders. <laughs> nice. He's Leon. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yesterday, Steve, he did get this one wrong. How many Expendables movies has Chuck Norris been in? Three. No. Two. No. Four. Four. <laughs> no! Five. Wow! No! Jeez, oh. dude! What's you scared problem? me so bad when you said that. I really thought you were going to drop the bomb. Yep. I don't know how you guys heard that. Yeah. Oh, no. I, I don't know how we did either. You're right. I plainly heard a combination of four and five made into yeah. one word. Yeah. <laughs> well, the correct answer is one. You want a shot at BDC? You got it. 206-421-ROCK. We're playing Beat Migs. We'll do it at 650 on The Rock. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. 
What's the difference between filing for bankruptcy and credit counseling? Uh, credit counseling is a is a useful process in some circumstances, but it does show up on your credit. In fact, from a credit scoring standpoint, credit counseling shows up just like a bankruptcy, so it's going to affect your credit as negatively as filing bankruptcy. In credit counseling, the idea is, is that a credit counselor works with your creditors on your behalf to try to lower interest rates or work out payment plans with your creditors uh, to, to pay back your debt over time. Uh, in credit counseling, you almost always pay back 100% of the debt, sometimes at lower interest. And of course, some creditors will participate in that process and some won't. Uh, so you're usually left with kind of a mixed uh, result with credit counseling and of course, a high payment. Thanks, Travis. If you have more questions about bankruptcy, you can reach out to Travis anytime at choosetherightchapter.com. That's choosetherightchapter.com. Thanks for listening. Take the next step toward the career you want, be it business, cybersecurity, healthcare, or more. UMGC can help you get there. No application fee when you apply by August 31st. Visit umgc.edu. Certified to operate by Chev.